Hi, welcome to RK Varsity Online Classes. In this lecture, I'm going to explain you how to calculate internal rate of return of a project. Internal rate of return is a return on investment when net present value of cash inflows equals to cash outflow or investment. In other words, we can say that IRR is a discount rate when net present value equals to zero. And IRR is expressed in percentage terms. IRR is compared with the hurdle rate of the company. And if IRR is greater than hurdle rate, then the project is accepted. If IRR is less than hurdle rate, then the project is not accepted. To calculate IRR manually, it is a very difficult one. And uh, we need to do this with a trial and error process. And IRR can be easily calculated with the Microsoft Excel. However, understanding how actually the IRR works is important. In this lecture, I'm going to explain you how to calculate IRR with the formula. The formula that you need to use to calculate IRR is lower rate plus higher rate minus lower rate times net present value of cash flows at a lower rate upon net present value of cash flows at a lower rate minus net present value of cash flows at a higher rate. You don't know what is the lower rate and a higher rate. So this lower rate and higher rate you need to determine by trial and error method. So here you have a cash flows that is your investment is at a zero time period investment is $240,000 and in a year one the project is fetching your revenue of a $20,000. And in year two, this is uh, 50,000. And in year three, 100,000. Year four, 150,000. Uh, Woodworks hurdle rate is 12%. Is this project viable for Woodworks? So here hurdle rate given is a 12%. You need to calculate the IRR of this project and then compare this with the hurdle rate. Then take a decision whether to accept this project or reject the project. So where is that we need to start? Now with a rough guess, let's say we will start at a 8% rate and this is an arbitrary one. Uh, you can uh, check with any other rate. So I just I am giving a try with the 8%, 0 0.08. First we calculate the present values of this. So to get your present value, present value of a cash flows, this equals to cash flow upon 1 plus i to the power of n. So here I am taking a first trial of I as a 8%. So this is $20,000 upon 1.08 raised to the power of 1. Then 50000 upon 1.08 raised to the power of 2. Then $100,000 upon 1.08 raised to the power of 3. Then $150,000 upon 1.08 raised to the power of 4. And I will calculate the uh, present value of these cash flows. So that is uh, 18,519 will take plus 42,867 plus 79,383 plus 110,254. So present value of your cash flows here is 251,023 and your cash outflows is 240,000. So you have a positive net present value that is your NPV this equals to 11,023. So you have a positive net present value that is 11,023. Now next is that in case of IRR, IRR is when NPV equals to 0. Now here NPV is a positive. So that means if you try at a higher rate, then there is a possibility that the NPV may be negative. So what we do is we try at a 10%. So 0 0.1. This is a second trial we are making. So we'll see your cash flows here. 20,000 upon 1.1 rise to the power of 1. Then $50,000 upon 1.1 rise to the power of 2. Then $100,000 upon 1.1 rise to the power of 3 then $150,000 upon 1.1 1 
raised to the power of 4. So the total is $18,182 plus $41,322 plus $75,131 plus $102,452. The present value of cash flows is $237,087 minus $240,000. And then your NPV this equals to 237087 minus 240,000. So minus 2913. So NPV at 10% is minus 2913. So 2913. So here you have a positive net present value and here you have a negative net present value. That means your IRR will lie somewhere between 8% and 10%. Now here as we got a positive uh, net present value at 8% we increased the discount rate from 8% to 10%. If in your first trial if you get a negative net present value then you need to decrease the discount rate. Now we apply this in our equation. So our equation says lower rate. Lower rate is 8% so that is uh, 0.08 plus higher rate is 10% 0.10 minus lower rate that is 0.08 this times net present value at a lower rate that is 11,023 upon net present value at a lower rate that is 11,023 minus net present value at a higher rate that is minus 2913 so this is a negative value uh, this equals to 0.08 plus 0.02 times now first we have 11,023 minus minus 2913 so this is 13,936 then 11,023 upon 13,936 so 0 0.791 here 0.791 so this equals to 0 0.08 plus 0 0.02 times 0 0.791 0 0.0158 0 0.0158 so this equals to 0 0.08 plus 0 0.0158 0 0.0958 0 0.0958 or 9.58 percent the error of this project is 9.58 percent now what is the hurdle rate here? So the hurdle rate of the project is 12%. IRR is 9.58% whereas the hurdle rate 12%. So as IRR is less than hurdle rate we reject the project. If at all IRR were greater than hurdle rate then accept the project. In this case IRR is less than a hurdle rate. so Woodworks should not go for this project. So this is how uh, you need to calculate the internal rate of a return using a formula approach. But it is better to calculate IRR using Excel. In Excel you have a built-in function called as equal to IRR. Just by using IRR and uh, entering the values, pressing the enter key, you will get the IRR value. Thank you. Thank you very much.